Well, I've had a few comments and emails asking me what happened to the first prototype of the, uh, of the Viking ship. Um, so I thought I'd better uh, talk a little bit about that. Um, when I first started this series of movies, I said that I knew nothing about paper mache and uh, I proved to be correct. Um, I'll show you what I've got. This is prototype number one. Uh, and I learnt that it takes an enormous amount of paper mache to make uh, something like this rigid. Uh, so I made the hull and then I started putting framing in side the, the, the hull. Uh, what that did was that moistened the outside shell and made it droop. So the framing actually separated from the hull as it dried. And I tried to do the same thing with these edging frames and basically what that did was made the existing skin uh, moist, soft, and it actually drooped in on itself. So I've actually reduced the amount of freeboard, which is the side of the boat, I've reduced that by about a third because it's just, just sagged down on itself. So uh, I can't risk uh, putting this into the water with the ashes in it because there would only be about you know a few mil of the hull above the water So I had to abandon that and start on prototype number two and you can see that whole process uh, In my last movie uh, and I think it's going to be a bit of a winner So uh, the only problem I've got now is uh, waiting for it to dry and I reckon that's going to take about two weeks just been having a little bit of fun with my little bird friend that comes into the shed all the time. He's a little willy wagtail and uh, I just played back his song to him. So he's very concerned that uh, there's another bird in the shed. He comes in and uh, wants to know where that other bird is. But now the trouble is I've got to get him out because I want to shut the shed. So here he comes again. <laughs> Hey, Willie. He's really tame. <laughs> 